definitely great research for a great cause, and we'll turn to the weather on this warm and sticky day for some. It's 82 degrees in Saratoga Springs, but that flavor of the day will be changing in just a short few hours. You could make out where this front is with some showers and storms that sparked up just to now the south of Cambridge, so northern Rensselaer County. No lightning, but a quick downpour possible over uh, maybe in about 15, 20 minutes, places like Berlin, North Adams, moving through Bennington right now. But with this particular front, we're not seeing widespread showers and storms because of the time of day that it's passing, and there's just not that much forcing to allow storms to fire up. So the threat of showers and storms is there, but it's fairly minimal and should probably subside after around 4 o'clock once the front completely clears our area. So just the north of the capital region now, and on one side of it, we are turning much drier. Now along it, we're going to see wind spike up, so this afternoon will be quite breezy. First coming out of the south, and then on the back side coming out of the north, gusts could be as high as 30 miles an hour. Look at this temperature contrast. 81 Glens Falls, 60 Saranac Lake. It's 83 in Albany right now and 87 in Poughkeepsie. These spots in the Mid-Hudson Valley could see temperatures get into the 90s, whereas you've already probably seen your high temperatures over the Adirondacks. So cooler air is moving on in. Also shown with the dew point. This is the change over the past 24 hours. Still seeing warmer, muggier air build in over the capital region, but it's starting to dry on out over the north. And we will all start drying on out in terms of the humidity over the next few hours. So by 3 o'clock, again, just a few very spotty showers, maybe a stronger storm possible way off towards the south. That threat around here is pretty minimal. Tonight, we should be all establishing that new cooler air mass. So tonight will be very comfortable. Clouds should be dissipating. And during the day tomorrow, I think we'll be in and out of clouds. Just a spotty chance of a shower over the Catskills. What a difference tomorrow will be. Mid to maybe upper 70s with low humidity. Just a straight chance of a shower, as mentioned. So it's 73 to 78 degrees during the day tomorrow. Friday's a really, another really nice day. Clouds and some sun. Bit breezy into the afternoon, 75 to 80 degrees. And then Saturday could be a bit dicey. Showers and storms have a warm front moving on through, cold front on the back side of it. So we're going to be kind of socked in with the clouds off and on showers and some downpours. We'll be breezy and we'll get a resurgence of that humidity as well. So Saturday certainly looks like the worst bet at this point for the Labor Day weekend. Sunday is going to be the warmest day at ahead of one more front and behind that front. Monday looks mostly dry, but it will be a lot cooler. So for this last, I guess, unofficial weekend of summer, probably Sunday is the day to do the summer activities because as we get into the six to 10 day period, as we get past Labor Day, cooler than average conditions are favored across the Northeast. And in fact, across most of the eastern half of the country. Around a year ago, we actually had a heat wave the first week of September. This year, it looks like temperatures are going to be running below average once we get past Labor Day. You'll see that momentarily in our seven-day forecast. This afternoon, 80 to 85 degrees with the high temperatures happening just over the next few hours before temperatures begin to fall off as a cooler air mass moves on in. Tonight will be a crisp night, 50 to 55 degrees, cool and comfortable, clearing on out. And tomorrow, clouds mixing in with some sun, much cooler, stray shower off towards the south and west. Most of us should be dry. And another seasonably cool night tomorrow night, 52 to 57 degrees. So that seven-day forecast sees a couple more summer days left, Wednesday and Sunday, before we reestablish a fall-type air mass Monday onward. Lara? Let's soak up summer while we can. 